Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Stryker with another episode of our Let's Try the Witness. And I think I remember now what we're supposed to be doing with this. So these have to match up with one of the same color. Um, so if I recall correctly, these three were the same color and these two are the same color. So I am have played around with this a little bit. Let me see if I remember. All right, cut this one out. Come back over here. Yeah, okay, perfect. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. This is so much worse. This whole thing. I don't like this. Fla flashing lights and whatnot. Um. Alright, it seems like... These four are the same and this is the same as these two so I think it does not gonna end like this but I think that shape has to be there because I don't think it can block off that burst so if this is there um, that's actually gonna be an issue because these are different colors Ooh. Oh, this is another burst as well. Same as... These are different color bursts. Dang it. Um... Ah, gosh. So hard for me to see what's going on here. Um, same color as this. Same color as this. These three are the same which is the same as this. I don't know if these are the same color. They're, it's really hard to tell the green from the teal because of the way the lights are flashing. I think that these are the same color, which would make this the same color. How do I get this shape to fit in here, though? Because if I put it here... So, let me uh, show you what I'm thinking. If I put it here, like so, I can't separate out this color. Can I put something like... No, that's not going to work. Um, ooh, can... Ooh. I wonder if... These are the same color. I think I can cancel out this with this one which would mean these need to be paired off. This has to be matched over here like this. Ah, dang it. It's going to quite be that simple. Oh, I really thought that was good. What did I mess up? Are these different colors? wonder if those are actually different colors like I was originally thinking they might be. And in which case, how do I separate them? Um, I think that this is teal, 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 green, and the other four are pink. I can't put all the teals together, can I? I don't really know how I would do that, actually. Um, something like this. No, that won't work. I come at this the other direction. I block both of these directions unless that could be the way to do it. Maybe I come at this this way, cut off both of these, get both of those together. Not quite. Yeah, I can't cut this all three directions. That is not going to work. Uh, 
Whichever way, whichever corner I cut here is going to separate them out. Can I? That actually, maybe it's okay to do that. Wait, no, I still have to cut the other stuff out. Something like this. Not exactly like that. Maybe like this. No. Um. Let me see if this actually works first. I don't know if I can... No, this still looks like it's flashing, like it's wrong. I think that that worked. Does... It's really hard to... Yeah, I think these are wrong that way. Um, okay. It's just really hard to tell. I she wouldn't do that. Really hard to tell the color differences. I do think these are the same color. Yeah, all three of these are flashing at the same. All three of these are flashed, so all four of these are pink. All three of these are teal, and this one is green. Does that help me? Okay, yes, all the colors do have to be separated out. I could use this. So disorienting. Oh my goodness, it's making my head hurt. This is something I think that Pony will be better at than I am. Because this flashing lights is not good for me. <laughs> um, I'm guessing there's no settings options to help that. I don't know that any of these will actually prove this for me. Um, shoot. This is a real understanding of the rules because I, if I could think clearly, I think I at least know that these three shapes are the same color and these four shapes are the same color. I just don't know how to get, I have to get this color separated off from the other colors. get these separated out. I just can't go back to the exit at this point. What if we do this? The issue is still in this area. Right, because this is still one of these. And I don't think I can put these two together like that. Interesting, this is actually these ones are flashing.
So maybe these were the same color. I think that... I think that these were actually the same color. Oh gosh. This is so much worse. It's not as bad as those the bird noises in the bamboo forest. I will grant you that. <laughs> that was terrible. I might have to... I might just have to draw this, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to go crazy. Alright, so we've got a box. One, two, three, four, five, by one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we've got pink in the top left, yellow in the middle left, teal and then pink, yellow there as well, and there as well. So we've got pink, yellow, teal, pink, yellow, yellow. These are two teals. Uh, two yellows. Teal and then a pink. Okay. I think other than obviously me going about this the wrong way, maybe I have to go this way. To separate the yellows out first, then we'll separate out the teals, then we'll separate out the yellows. Okay. That was so much better. Just drawing it out. Oh my gosh. I just need to do that more, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite excited about all these drawings. Okay, so that's the starting area. I wonder if this is like a first draw of this whole idea, like you got the ruins, you got what we went out with the little puzzles out there, they marked as special. They actually put in like the trees. What was th oh, this was like the farm area. It was a little more linear, I think, at the point, at that point. Let's see if there's anything here that maybe is noteworthy. It looks like a bunker. There's a tree up on top of this. A giant tree here. It's a better drawing of the castle at the beginning. Maybe? Maybe this is the really first drawing. They still have that tree in one of the towers. That stayed. And another tree here. Interesting that that stays. They have these still these like six trees around. I think that's the pond, maybe. Huh. That's cool. Not sure what this is about. Maybe that's just the where this waterfall comes from. Supposed to be like a person, maybe? This looks like the quarry, maybe? I'm trying to remember where I actually saw a water wheel like that. Is this maybe the pyramid in the desert? Um, some of this stuff doesn't look familiar. Like this, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like where we went and did all the um, top and bottom mirror drawings, but this is totally different. have this weird like water level thing. What is going on? 
done here. There's so many drawings, it's very interesting. I'm I'm really thinking these were like initial sketches of like what they wanted to do with different areas. There's a lot of things that I see that look like water levels changing. Is my interpretation of a lot of, a lot of different drawings of these. That must be the town, which had a lot more buildings, it looks like. A lot more. Can I make these stairs go back up so I can get a little closer to these? That'd be nice. That was weird. Like a squeaking noise. This is cool. What is this? Oh, this must be the other side of the quarry. Interesting that they kind of have what looks like an alcove there. Big tree. That looks. Oh, this is the fort. Yeah, this is that whole quarry area. This is the orchard. Okay. <laughs> you see, a motif is this. He put his hands together, drew them apart, the ten fingers open, then slowly, very slowly, brought them together again, clasped them, squeezed them tightly, meshing them. That's what one should try to achieve. If one hand is held too high or too low, it won't work. Not a single link should be too slack leaving a hole through which the emotion, the light, the truth can escape. You must understand that I work on the whole canvas, on everything at once. With one impulse, with undivided faith, I approach all the scattered bits and pieces. Everything we see falls apart, vanishes, doesn't it? Nature is always the same, but nothing in her that appears to us lasts. Our art, must render the thrill of her permanence along with her elements, the appearance of all her changes. It must give us a taste of her eternity. What is there underneath? Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. Everything, you understand? So I bring together her wandering hands. I take something at right, something at left, here, there, everywhere, her tones, her colors, her nuances, I set them down, I bring them together. They form lines, they become objects, rocks, trees, without my planning. They take on volume, value. If these volumes, these values, correspond on my canvas, in my sensibility, to the planes, to the spots which are there before our eyes, then my canvas has brought its hands together. It does not waver. The hands have been joined neither too high nor too low. My canvas is true, compact, full. But if there is the slightest distraction, if I fail just a little bit, above all, if I interpret too much one day, if today I am carried away by a theory which runs counter to that of yesterday, if I think while I paint, if I meddle, whoosh, everything goes to pieces. Paul Cezanne, as related by Joaquim Gasquet, 1921. Okay. So... This is an interesting puzzle. And I am basically, at this point, drawing out all of them together because each one you draw also has to match, like has to solve the ones behind it. I was wondering why it was so simple for the first couple. I was like, wait a second, what's going on here? So... This has to be... Alright, but 
those two green bursts, yeah. Those two green bursts have to be together. How am I going to do that? Um, okay, I could do something like... I have to go through this still. I have to go through this. Green bursts have to be together. I could do this. No, that's not going to work. I have to hit this black piece at the intersection. I have to get these two... Oh, not quite. Hmm. That won't work either. Could do something like that, but I still have to figure out a way to get the. Oh no! Right, they don't have to be paired off. They're not the other one. Okay. Or I mean, I guess they do. They just don't have to be. Oh gosh! Now it's also a white square. Oh goodness! That top left piece is—it's a problem. Now, are these... The question is going to be, do you add these to these squares back here? So are there now four white squares and two? No, they can't be. They have to be individual puzzles, because otherwise you have a white and a black square in the same spot. So maybe that's why they did that. Um, so this won't work, because right now this white and this black spot would... All right, it's close to working, though. Oh, no! I was really hoping. Oh, man. Um, how do I do that? This, like this? Oh, there's another one! Oh, that's a problem. Okay, I have to redraw this. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to keep... Right. Okay. Stop beeping at me. <laughs> it's so annoying. Hmm. I could. That's actually going to mess stuff up. Because hmm. there is now a two piece part here. This is. It's almost kind of like one puzzle with all of these pieces on it. And that's kind of how I tried to draw it, but they really like this top left corner. You got a black square, pink burst, a white square. If you had known all this from the beginning, you could have drawn this complex thing every single time and just redrawn it. <laughs> but, um, how are we going to do this? I'd like to draw like this. I like this shape here. I'm hoping we can keep this. Remembering that the pinks and the green bursts can be together. Will this work? Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of the last one I did. Just in case I really screw this up. So my plan is this. Interesting that it's actually letting me look at all of them now on this one. Hmm. This would be nice if this would work, but I don't think that it will. The problem here... Yeah. The problem here is that now that green one is not... Oh, there's also that black piece at the bottom. Okay, um, alright, let's try this. This has to go this way. Can separate that out like that. The three... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get that three piece over there. Hmm. Interesting. 
interesting. Odd that it cancelled out this one, but it left the other ones too. This is a complex puzzle. It would be easier solved if all the pieces were on one square. Just kind of what I drew, but I almost think that doing this is actually going to be easier. Uh, the part I'm actually struggling with is the combination of these two puzzles. Um, I wonder if I could... It does keep those. I can't... Wait a sec. No, it's not quite going to work because of that pink one. Oh, right, and I also have to actually capture the three-piece tetramino. I don't know what uh, L-shaped. Maybe it's not really L-shaped. Maybe more V-shaped. If you push uh, Shift-6 on your computer and shift and like turn it to the side, that's what this is. I don't remember what that sign is. Whatever that symbol's called, that's what this shape is. Ve chevron. Is it chevron? I think it's a chevron. Chevron tetromino. Seems right to me. Okay, maybe I need to go like this, capture that first. Or maybe I need to go like this. What was that shape I drew? Something like this? I don't know, except I can't, and then I'm stuck. Ooh, wait, what if I... No, that's not going to work either. Any way I draw this is going to get stuck. I could do that. Which solves all of them except for the tetromino pieces. And I see no way to do that with this amount of space. Hmm. Well, it seems like we are pretty much out of time on this one again, guys. Um, very close to the next stage. I spent a lot of our time looking at all these drawings, which I am not ashamed of. I really enjoyed those drawings. I thought they were very cool. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed them as well. So, um, yeah, we will uh, work on this. I'll probably draw it out a little bigger so I have more space to actually play around with it. And uh, when we come back, I'll see if I have a solution for you guys. Uh, thank you again for watching. Really appreciate you guys coming by and hanging out with me. Um, hopefully you're having as much fun as I am. And I will see you next time. Good morning, good night, so long, and take care. This is Striker. Signing out.